Hey everyone, so today we are looking at the latest update to the Tesla Model 3. Basically, we now have full self-driving visualization in Australia, yes! Finally, we finally have this. The US have had this for months and months and it's finally here in Australia. So the version number is 2020.12.11.1. That's the one I got it. Uh, I know a version before that also had the full self-driving, but this is the one that you know arrived on my car, so my car skipped it. So apologies for the poor video angle here. Uh, this is my first time recording in the car with the camera mounted to the ceiling. So I got this weird um, kind of cut out here. So what I've done is I've actually enlarged the um, visualization part of the screen on the Model 3 and I've pasted it over the rear view mirror because that was taking up a lot of the screen anyway. All right, this is the first intersection for the day. So this is the first time I saw traffic lights after I installed the update. And in my particular lane, in the lane in the video here, uh, there are white arrows as well. So the white arrows are showing up uh, on the visualization. It's showing you that it's under the car right now. That perpendicular line is also showing up. So the line showing the intersection is right in front of the car, which is excellent. It's exactly where it's meant to be. That 87 centimeters you see on the screen there, that's actually the distance to the parked car, which is beside me. Um, I thought it was the distance to the line, but it wasn't. It's just because I was going slow, it's showing you the you know, nearby object. It's also picked up two random stop signs on the right there. There is definitely no stop signs and definitely not two of them in a row at that particular intersection. So I'm not quite sure what happened. Okay, next we have an intersection with some right turn lanes on the right. The arrows are showing up perfectly on the visualization. Now I noticed that the traffic lights that are now outside of the field of view of the car's front camera uh, no longer show the actual color of the light. They just show a floating gray model above the car. Now the lights that are still visible to the car will obviously still show the green or the red light on them. Okay, so here is the car exiting a car park. So the arrows on the ground also get picked up uh, even though I'm in a car park. So this just demonstrates that um, the cameras are actually doing the work. It's not just some mapping thing they're using. Uh, also, this stoplight here, it says I just drove through a stoplight. So obviously the positioning is not extremely accurate. So heading to a roundabout, it actually draws a line in front of the roundabout, which is really nice. So I think that's because there was actually a line, not because it knew it was a roundabout. So it's just reading the road, looking at the line, and if it saw a, you know, like a perpendicular line to the road, then it will just draw a line there. Okay, this next clip, I'm entering a right turn lane. Uh, the arrows are showing up on the lane visualization, which is really nice. Uh, we have some traffic lights here, obviously, because it's a right turn in Australia. Uh, the people are getting picked up. Uh, I mean, it was always picking up people, but it's good to see it's still working, I guess. The line visualization is there. So here you'll see me uh, struggling for a little bit, trying to get a close up of the, of the light there, because uh, I thought it was showing an arrow. Uh, even though uh, I was in the right turn lane, the car is actually showing a left turn red arrow, uh, which is very strange um, because it should just be a solid red circle at that point, but it was still showing a, a red left arrow and there is definitely no left arrow there. So even after it uh, went green, so that green light there, it's still showing a left arrow, uh, which is very strange. So um, obviously it's, it's not quite there yet. So there at the very end there, it actually turned to a, a solid green light there. So again, at the next intersection, I try really hard to get the, the model on the screen here, the, the model of the traffic light. Uh, so you can actually pan around with three fingers and you can also pinch the zoom with two fingers. Uh, and a single finger will just rotate the camera up and down. So yeah, three fingers to pan. So after some struggle, uh, I managed to get the arrow on the screen there. So it's actually showing a red arrow and this time it's the correct red arrow. It's actually pointing to the right uh, and I am in a right turn lane, so that's good. So yeah, definitely still some improvements required here. It's picking up wrong arrows. Sometimes it's not picking up arrows at all. So yeah, definitely some work to be done here. All right, so I guess that's about it for this quick look at the full self-driving visualization in Australia. Now, I'm sorry for the camera angle. Uh, I didn't know how to position the camera properly and it was a bit too high. Uh, and also I should position a second camera to just record the screen. So hopefully in future videos, I'll be able to fix that for you guys. Uh, anyway, I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.